Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you all the parts I have to make this custom RC sandrail. This buggy is a steel frame that was made by RC four wheel drive and they made two of these. They made a four seater version and a two seater version. They're both discontinued. This was the four seater version. This one's called the Desert Storm. The other one was called the Sandfire. I think it was discontinued in 2013. I was able to find this one on eBay. So every once in a while you might be able to find one on a used one on eBay. They're both made to use the Traxxas two-wheel drive electric back parts. They have the mounts on there for the the whole gearbox. And the front part is made to use the Traxxas Jado steering bell crank and the A-arms and the steering components. When you buy these, they were always black, but I got this one repainted in red. I had some welding done on it, so it needed some new paint. I changed the, the front end to use a SE10 A-arm mount. The whole front end has SE10 A-arms and AR mount and the steering parts on the outside, those are also from the SE10. And then I changed the bell crank to the Traxxas slash bell crank. The original bell crank, the Traxxas Jado, the original holes on there were mounted too far back so the steering didn't really work right. You'd have to drill four new holes and move it up more. So I just went ahead and drilled two holes and mounted the Traxxas slash bell crank on there. And then the other thing I did was I, well actually it was already done. The person had welded two extra bars on there to make the frame stronger because the back, that flat piece where the transmission goes, could sometimes bend if you crash it hard, so I guess that's why they had welded that on there. It's almost done. There's just a few more small things I have to do to it. Okay, now that you know a little bit about the frame, I'll go over the parts on here and get some better views of how it looks. On the back, that's the Integi aluminum gearbox. The hub carriers are made by Integi also. The axles are MIP CVDs. I used a, a Traxxas spray gear with 32 pitch. That's a hobby wing motor. I think it's a 2250 kV or 2200. It uses the five millimeter shaft. So that one's made for eight skills. I went with that motor since the buggy's pretty heavy. And then that's a, a flag that I made. It's on an antenna tube. When you get these frames, it's just a plain metal chassis with powder coat on it. So those panels, you have to make those yourself and buy pretty much every single part. That's a Hobbywing 80 amp speed control. And then there's a four cell battery in there. It's held down on the front with the RC10 battery, battery cup. And then the back, I'm probably just gonna Velcro it down. These panels on the side are made out of Lexan. The top panel is a 
is also plastic, but it's not Lexan. This is that part where I was saying they had two metal bars welded on here. This was to make this piece stronger. Because without these, this could end up bending, I guess, if you crash hard. This bottom piece here is aluminum. Here's the part where I was, I was saying I had to, I changed this to the SE10 mount. Originally it had mounts for JDO A-arms, which were welded right onto the frame. But with, with that design, the JDO mounts that were welded on there would end up breaking off. So then you have to end up welding it back onto the frame. Whereas with this piece, you just, if you do break this, you could just get a new plastic piece and screw it on there. So I cut off the JDO mounts and then drilled those holes to mount this SE10 mount. And then those two screws right there, I drilled the holes to mount the slash bill crank. Before there were some holes on top of here to mount the JDO bell crank. But the JDO bell crank was not working as good, so that's why I changed that. This is the radio I'm using. It's from a Exceed RC car. It's a 2.4 gigahertz. It looks like it's the same thing as the FlySky radios. In the front here, there's some space to mount some seats. I'll probably put some seats right there. I like the way this buggy's turning out so far. I think there was only two other companies that made a frame similar to this that used Traxxas parts. And right now, I don't think there's any that are currently making one. Alright, let me know what you think and thank you for watching.